Hi friends, so in this new video I will talk about the method used to, to plot a radiation efficiency of antenna or array antenna or any microwave devices, okay? So to plot uh, radiation efficiency, we have two cases. The first case when we need to plot radiation efficiency in function of angles, okay, like theta and V. And the second case when we need to plot radiation efficiency in function of frequency okay so in this video I will show you the method the manner used to plot this parameter in function of frequency and in function of angles okay so we take for example uh, a rectangular or a rectangular antenna so we take in this example a uh, single patch antenna a rectangular radiation element so this antenna uh, resonates at 5.2 gigahertz okay as you see so here we have the return loss in decibel okay so our antenna our antenna resonates at 5.2 gigahertz okay so at one ten decibel. So to find the radiation efficiency, we go to results. Okay, click right. We go to the create for files report. So we take the first case rectangular plot. Okay, and here we go directly to antenna parameters. Okay, antenna parameters. So here we have a lot of parameters. So we go directly to radiation efficiency. Okay, radiation efficiency here. So here we have uh, uh, some or a lot of uh, units. So we go directly to absolute value. Okay, absolute value, not decibel, but we go to absolute value. Okay. So here, if we look where we have, uh, we have the radiation efficiency a function of theta angle. Okay. So uh, for phi angle, we have. Uh, all angles that we have from zero degree to to all uh, degrees uh, 30 160 degrees okay so use all values so I will trust uh, our radiation efficiency for five gigahertz for example here and we can look that we have our radiation efficiency is stable in all angles between 0 degree to, uh, to 360 uh, degrees okay so here for fee for all angles fee we can uh, take just for one single uh, angle for example we have to create for file reports rectangular plots Okay, I go to antenna parameters, I go to radiation efficiency, and I go to absolute value, and I choose just one single uh, angle of phi, okay, like this, zero degree, for example, and I plot radiation efficiency in this angle, I will find this value, so the value of our uh, radiation efficiency e equal so I take marker, okay, and I take a point. So I can say that the value is 0 0.94, uh, okay, 94. So in percent, uh, it's equal uh, 94 percent, okay. So the radiation efficiency of this antenna is equal zero uh, is equal 94 uh, percent, okay. So I multiply this value by 100 to find the value in percent. Okay, so this we have radiation efficiency in function of theta angle. Okay, so I can plot it in function of uh, phi angle also. I go directly to this file here, uh, antenna parameter, radiation efficiency in absolute value. Or uh, here I choose phi. Okay, I choose phi. And I find here that I have theta. 
so I can plot the radiation efficiency in function of phi instead of theta. Okay, if I choose here phi, okay, so this is the same method to the first. So if we need to plot radiation efficiency in function of frequency, so what we can do here, what the method uses, so I go here to solution, okay, solution, I choose sweep. Okay, swift, and I choose here frequency. Okay, so I can find that I have all frequencies. Okay, all frequencies that I need. Okay, but if I don't choose swift, for example, I should just the first case last adaptive. So if I go to frequency, I can find just one single frequency, five gigahertz. Okay, so to plot our radiation efficiency of your antenna you need to choose swap insulation okay swap and i go to frequency okay for here i have theta for all theta and phi for all phi angles so i choose just one angle the one single angle zero degree for example for theta and zero degree for phi okay so here I can plot our radiation efficiency in function of frequency for this angle theta equals 0 degree and phi equals 0 degree. Okay, for theta equals 0 degree and phi equals 0 degree. So I plot it. So now we can uh, observe uh, our radiation efficiency in function of frequency. Okay, so more. So here, uh, this is the variation of uh, radiation efficiency, absolute radiation efficiency in function of uh, frequency. Okay, in our uh, bandwidth. Okay, so this is the method used to find radiation effi efficiency in function of frequency or in function of angles so if you have any question you can contact us in our youtube channel or in our facebook accounts okay see you soon in other videos